Good morning, modern setters. The snowstorm so far was a bust, which is good and bad. It's good because we only got about an inch of snow right now. The bad thing is, Olivia had to go to school today. So that means she doesn't get to help us boil sap. But the sap that we have is getting a little on the older side. So I want to boil the stuff we collected the other day and then I'll save the rest of it to boil Saturday. So we can do it as a family outing or family project. See if hopefully. All right, the buckets didn't tip over. Let's get set up. It's a nice snowy day out. It'd be a perfect day for boiling. I'm gonna leave the smaller one set up for finishing the sap. This burner we've had for quite a while, probably 10 plus years, it's come in handy. Awesome for finishing the sap. We got the bigger, Jet burner that is amazing for boiling. Grab our big old 23 gallon stock pot.
yesterday. Let's go do that. Before we were up to here, now we're down below here. We got like an inch or so left. Before you know it, I'm gonna be taking the sap out of the big pot and putting it into our little one. We got about an inch or so on the bottom. We just got the wood stove up to 500 degrees. I got the equipment out here we're gonna need next. I got our pint jars, a couple of things of cheesecloth, our stainless steel funnel, strainer, and then our next size pot. It's getting nice and warm in the outdoor kitchen. We're at a little bit more critical stage now. We only got, I don't know, a little over, a little less than an inch of sap in there. So I had to turn down the propane so it's not boiling so intense because I don't want to burn it. But the longer I can keep it in our big 23 gallon stock pot, the more surface area there is. So the quicker it's going to boil down. Look at all that beautiful steam coming off. That's what we want to see. But then we can't see in there. The tank's freezing up, which is fine right now because it's keeping the propane from burning so fast. I was wondering, what's the temperature in the outdoor kitchen? Then I was thinking, we got our meat thermometer. So I turned that on and it's 53 degrees. Not too bad. The wood stove has been going about an hour. And it's about 31 degrees outside. So we've warmed it up over 20 degrees in an hour. On Saturday while we're boiling our sap, we're going to make our lunch on the wood cook stove. And we're going to cook some biscuits in the oven. But since it's so nice and warm right now, I'm going to try finishing off the sap on top of the wood stove. Some more pine in there. A few more minutes, we'll be bringing the sap inside. All right, just about ready to do a straining and switch it over to this pot. Nice. So we started with around seven gallons. And this is what we got so far. Okay, we got some sediment out and some junk. Set this up top. Bring this over to the wood cook stove. Since the stove is nice and hot. It's a few minutes before quarter of 10. We started at eight o'clock this morning. So it took us an hour and 45 minutes so far to get it down to, I'd say maybe a quart or two. Oh, wow. That is super sweet. Mm. If you could bottle it just this way, I would. But we'll finish it off. I think this is going to be a fancier or a lighter grade of syrup this time. But 
That gets me really excited after just tasting it. I'm gonna put a little more wood in the stove. I'm thinking, let's see. Boom. Keep an eye on the temps. That'll work, it keeps it off the bottom of the pot, but in the sap, it's starting to boil already. And we're at 195. So last time, we brought it up to 221. Tank's a little frosty, that's for sure. Uh, the pot needs a cleaning. Let's go get some hot water for it. Keep an eye on the sap since it's almost syrup. And we're at 200. 21 more degrees to go and we'll be at syrup. Now we gotta do our dishes. A little bit of water, a little bit of soap. And it cleaned up nice and good, so the next time we go to boil, we'll be ready to go. three for a temp. Sticking it up a little bit. Uh, it's amazing how fast it goes from this consistency to the good sticky syrup. <laughs> this part might prove a little challenging. I don't have anybody in here to help hold my stringer. So I was thinking, let's try balancing it. Yeah. That'll work. So hopefully we won't make a mess and we're pouring the sap off. All right, I think we're gonna call it right here. Ready? Last checking. Get that nice hang to it. Yeah, that's good. Man, that part is so nerve wracking to me. You want to get it just perfect, but on the same time, you don't want to go too far. This right here is definitely going to be nice to have another set of hands. Look at that deliciousness. Man. Alright, not going to burn ourselves. We work so hard for that. We want to make sure we get out every last drop. Yeah, it's 
stick it back on the stove, let it heat up, and we'll clean it up. What we did today, that's modern homesteading to me. We got to use some old technologies of the antique wood cook stove. We got to use a newer double jet propane burner, a big old stainless steel pot, and we got to make some beautiful, delicious maple syrup. We got just over one pint from roughly six gallons, seven gallons, probably more towards the six gallon side. But I'm happy with that. Let's see what time it is. We started at eight. It's 10.38 now, so two hours, say just over two and a half hours. We've been kind of goofing off the last few minutes. I've been cleaning up, so that's not bad. We should get at least this, if not more, hopefully come Saturday. That'd be cool. We'll be almost at a gallon for the year. I've been looking at my weather app, that 12-week weather app. It looks like for almost the next two months, we might be into some good sugar in season. I don't know for sure, but I'm thinking we should be able to get our two gallons that we were hoping to get for the year, and then maybe a little bit more. So I'm excited. Hope you guys had fun today. I had a really good time. It would have been better with Gina and Olivia here. So we'll be doing that again on Saturday. That'll be even better. I can't wait to cook and bake with the wood cook stove. If you're new to the channel, now's a perfect opportunity to go down below and subscribe. And while you're there, turn on notifications. And hopefully YouTube will let you know every time we upload a video, go live or post something to our community tab. If you want to keep up to date with us, go to our website, lumnaacres.com. I'll put a link here and in the description down below. You can sign up for our newsletter. And remember, we upload a video every day. So we'll see you right back here tomorrow at Lumna Acres, a guide to modern homesteading, self-sufficiency, and freedom. Bye.